Hello, my name is Maria Miller from MathMammoth.com. In this video we're gonna study how to draw a right angle and a rectangle. And this drawing a right angle is good for about third grade math. Drawing a rectangle is both for third and fourth grade. And you need a tool to do this and I'm gonna use a protractor first of all. Let's say here's your line and you need to draw a right angle. It means you need to draw another line here that goes at a right angle with your existing line. Okay, so you have to position your protractor so that this is gonna be where you're gonna draw. You're gonna draw along this line, right? This side. And so just position your protractor so that your 90 degree mark here lines up with your existing line and then the midpoint here, however it is marked, has to line up with your line too. And there, and then you just draw. there. So it's pretty simple. I'm going to show you also how to do the same thing using a triangular ruler. Okay, this is a triangular ruler and we can also use this to draw a right angle or actually to draw a line that goes at the right angle called a perpendicular line. Again, you will you need to use this side to actually draw your line. So just position your ruler so that this corner here is exactly at your existing line and then you have to find your midpoint here which in my ruler it is the number 8 is marking the midpoint so that has to line up too go exactly at the existing line there and now I'm ready to draw the line okay that makes a perpendicular line and my right angle is of course here now if need be I could then erase this line or whatever is needed to be erased I'm going to change back to my protractor because that's what I prefer. A common exercise that's given is to draw a perpendicular line or a right angle so that it is at this given point, so that the line goes through this point. So again, you're going to draw along this side. So just put this one here. Oh, I need to do it this way this time. And then line up the 90 degree mark over here with the existing line. There. A little difficult. Okay. Like that. And here's my right angle. Or it could be that you have to draw your line so that it goes through a point that is not on the existing line. Again, you just have to line up. You're gonna draw over here. And then you have to line up your 90 degree mark and the dot and everything. It takes some practice to line up everything. Then you're ready to draw. So here I could get my 90 degrees. Now, you can also use this method to draw a parallel line. Let's see how that goes about. I would first draw a line that is perpendicular, a line that is at the right angle, and then another line that is at the right angle with my first line. Okay, first I will draw just any line that is at the right angle, using the same method here. Now I will draw a line that is at the right angle with this red line. Okay, I can't see my 90 degree mark. I better continue this line some more here. Now I can line up my 90 degree mark here and then just draw a line here. So I got the line that is parallel to the existing line. Of course, there are other methods for doing this too, but this is if you are allowed to use a protractor or a triangular ruler. Lastly, we're going to draw a rectangle. And um, I wrote here 50 centimeters and 20 centimeters because that's how big I have to draw it so that it won't be just a teeny one here on the board. But for students who are drawing it on the paper, they need to use smaller numbers because 50 centimeters would exceed paper size. So maybe 10 and 4 centimeters or something like that. Now, we will start out by drawing first the one side of the rectangle. And uh, I need this for drawing the right angles and then a normal ruler for drawing longer lines. So let's draw first the line. And then I need to measure on it the 50 centimeters. here and here. And now let's draw 
a line that goes at the right angle the best we can as accurately as we can there and on this side there's a lot of lining up to do and, and it is hard to be 100% accurate so don't be surprised if these don't exactly match with don't look like rectangles though okay I need my centimeters here to measure 20 there now I have marked the 20 centimeters and 20 centimeters so now I should be able to just draw a line from here to here there and here's my rectangle 